What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm gonna show you how I made these. Beautiful, delicious, smoky, scratch made, amazing, smoked pig shots. That's right folks, we made our own sausage, made our own bacon, smoked our cream cheese, did all sorts of good stuff and I'm ready. Coming up. This is some meat. Pat it dry. And what I got here is about five pounds of meat total. Big old chuck roast on the right side here and some pork belly on the other side. And together with this amount of fat and pork and this pretty lean looking chunk of meat, we should end up with a really good fat ratio. And although these are already cubed up, I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller just for grinding purposes. And we're making a beef and pork sausage today. With the amount of fat, this should be a pretty beef heavy sausage, which is a really classic way to make it. Probably a 70% meat, 30% pork, while at the same time maintaining around a 70 to 75 percent meat to fat ratio and same for this guy just cut this up into some cubes and you don't have to use a chuck or pork belly you could definitely use some cheaper cuts i know oftentimes at supermarkets they sell chunks of meat that looks pretty lean just called stew meat that would work really well or you could use some brisket or some pork butt or go all beef all pork you can do whatever you want in the sausage making world as long as you follow the proper ratios and if you want to learn more about that you can check out my video all about the sausage making ratios just like that five pounds of meat nicely cubed up i'm gonna pop this into the freezer to get nice and cold after about 30 minutes in the freezer, our meat is sufficiently chilled. So through the grinder we go. I've got the coarse dye on there, as I typically do. And we're simply just gonna send it right on through. Just going through the grinder once today. And as we go, I'm also gonna chip through a couple of big old jalapenos. Add a little kick. Beautiful. Meat is looking beautiful. Nice pebbly grind on there. That's exactly what we want. No fat smearage or anything like that. So now it's time to add our spices. I'm going in with one pack of nice and plump sausage mix. This is just my starter pack for any sausage nowadays. It's got the proper amount of salt as well as milk powder, which is the binder I like to use. And it's also got a really nice savory flavor profile with some garlic and whatnot. And one pack is for five pounds of meat. You do not have to buy this. You can watch my sausage ratio video, which I mentioned earlier, if you want to make your own very simple version of this. But I tell you what, it's a lot easier to use this than to have to weigh out every individual seasoning. So we're gonna get this mixed up real quick. But I'm also gonna cure this sausage, so in with a little bit of pink salt that does not come included in the sausage mix. But about five grams of that going in, just getting this all nice and mixed up. And now we go in with our liquid, which is some good old fashioned water. Just gonna mix this by hand until it starts to get nice and tacky. And then we're going in with some cheddar cheese. This is some high temp cheddar, so it'll hold its shape nicely. Makes for a good cheesy sausage, but you could obviously use whatever cheese you like. And now we're just gonna mix this by hand for maybe about three, four minutes until everything is nice and sticky and nice and tacky and all those spices are evenly distributed. And there we go, nice and sticky. Beep. Going on with some natural hog casings. These are 28 millimeters. These compact in salt, so we had them soaking in water for the last 10 minutes or so, flushed them out. Make sure they're nicely hydrated and not too salty. Tie it off, snip the tip, and now we begin to case. Doing my typical links, going link by link, making sure there's no air pockets, and making sure these are stuffed as plump as possible. Looking nice and cheesy. Good jalapeno studdage. Very nice. I'm going to do links of four, chains of four. And then I'm going to twist these together, send one through the middle, and there we go. Some beautiful looking jalapeno cheddar sausage links. And now we repeat. And just like that, a whole bunch, five pounds to be exact, of some beautiful jalapeno cheese sausage. So now I'm going to hang these up at room temperature overnight, and we will come back tomorrow and smoke them off. All right, after, oh God, one overnight curing session later, you can tell the color of these sausages has changed quite a bit. They're looking very nice. That casing has dried out a little bit, got nice and red. We can tell the salt and the cure is doing its thing. So I got them hung up in my Camp Chef pellet grill here. Got a little smoke tube in the corner. And now we're gonna cold smoke these for the next four or five hours. So, handy dandy blowtorch, get this tube lit up. Shut down the lid and let these smoke away. All right, folks, after about five or six hours in the cold smoke, which is about how long that smoke tube will run off the pellet cooker, these come and these are looking absolutely beautiful. I am loving that deep, dark red. The casings feel nice and snappy and dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and snip them all apart. 
beautiful. Lovely pile of wieners. But these are still rocking about 120 or so internal temp because they've been cold smoking at room temp, which today is quite hot. So I'm gonna pop them on the offset behind me, which I already have fired up from a previous cook. I'm gonna take these up to around 150 degrees internal and then pop them in an ice bath. Just like that, up to temp, ice bath away. Boop. These are looking beautiful, feeling nice and plump. All right, out of the ice bath, I gave them a nice little clean up with some paper towels because everybody loves a clean weenie. So now you can vacuum these up, save them for whenever you need them, or throw them on the grill. Now that our sausage is made, let's go ahead and get everything else ready, starting by firing up the pit. First thing going on the pit, is some good old fashioned cream cheese. And there certainly is a lot of cream cheese involved in tailgating appetizer football foods. But per usual, I forgot to pull this out of the fridge early so it is still cold. So I'm gonna throw it on the pit to soften up and get a little smoky. But first, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of spicy rub. You can use whatever rub you like. And I always get a bunch of flack for not seasoning the sides, but it doesn't matter in this situation because we're gonna mash it all up, but I'll, I'll give it a college try here. Eh, good enough. And on the pit we go. Again, we're just trying to soften this up, so time and temp really doesn't matter, but I wouldn't go too hot, because then it'll kind of melt and burn. And if you go really slow, it'll just get extra smoky. So really, up to you. I'm gonna rock you probably right around 250 for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And while we wait for that cream cheese to soften, let's go ahead and get these pig shots made. Beautiful looking sausages right here. Nice and smoky, nice and firm. No bursting or anything like that. And I've also got some bacon that I made in the Baconator episode. So if you want to learn how to make your own bacon, which I highly recommend you do, you should check out that video because this stuff is just absolutely beautiful. And it's kind of short, which is exactly what we need. So to make a pig shot, first things first, we're going to nip this little end off. That way we have a nice flat surface. Ooh, nice chunk of cheese in there. That looks really good. And make a little coin. Beautiful. Grab yourself a nice piece of bacon. And simply, we're just going to wrap this guy up. going to overlap it a little bit just for good measure. Grab ourselves a toothpick. Send it right on through. And there we go. Little pig shot ready to be filled. I'm gonna make this next one a little bit bigger. Something like that. And these are beautiful. Can't beat homemade bacon wrapped around homemade sausage, folks. And wrap this guy up nice and tight. There we go. A little less cream cheese space, but a little more sausage as well. That's the trade-off you have to make. You know, I've seen these floating around the internet for a long time and they always seemed pretty ridiculous. You know, anytime I'm wrapping bacon around a piece of sausage and filling it full of cream cheese, it just seems a little gimmicky and over the top and uh, mildly unhealthy. But now that I'm doing it, you know it's going to be good. And they're kind of cute. All right, we'll make a few more. And there we go. I think that ought to be enough. And to really drive home the fact that these are jalapeno cheddar pig shots. I got some pickled jalapenos. Had these in my fridge for quite some time. Ooh, bacon fingers makes things difficult. Come on. Huh. Made these a while back, very simple to make. Made them in several videos, but I'm gonna take one of these and place it right in the bottom. I was gonna put it on top as a garnish, but I kinda wanna hide it in there for a little pop of acidity, a little extra heat, and it just fits so nicely. And that way we'll get a little extra smoke and rub on our cream cheese. What? A fit. So cool looking. All that cheese in there wrapped in bacon, little jalapeno on top of that. Best part is you could make these days in advance and then just bring them to wherever you're going, throw them on the pit or even in an oven. Don't tell them I said that. There we go, all fully loaded. Set these aside and we'll get our cream cheese made. Starting by grating some Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. Again, we got the pickled jalapenos and now this cheddar going into the filling to really make a jalapeno cheesy pig shot. Boop, beautiful. And just like that, our cream cheese is nice and softened. So in we go. I really gotta start putting foil down because that's not fun to clean. And just get this nice and mixed up. And I was thinking about putting some other things in here. You know, we could chop up some peppers or some garlic or really whatever you're in the mood for. Put some bacon in there, put some sausage in there. But I think this recipe is pretty ridiculous as it is. So we're gonna keep this real simple. Just some cream cheese, a little bit of smoke, some cheddar cheese, and we'll go in with a little bit more of this rub. And as always, use whatever rub you like. Usually I'm not a big rub guy, but when it comes to this kind of food, it's really where they shine. Beautiful. And to make loading up our pig shots a little bit easier, I got one of these, this is a piping bag. And to make this a little easier to load, I've got a cup. Just gonna pop that right on in now. Fold the edges over the side here. And now we can load this right on up. Trying our best not to make a giant mess here, but you know how good I am at that. Boop. Looking nice and cheesy. And there we go, looking good to me. Now, you know the drill from here, we're gonna snip that tip real quick. Just the tip. We're gonna go through and just fill these guys up. Oh, that's so easy. 
I love it. And if you don't want to buy some piping bags, well, I recommend it. They're pretty convenient to have on hand, but you could always just spoon this in or use a Ziploc bag, cut the corner off. Oh yeah, loving the color. I don't know who created this dish. This is wild. Beautiful. And then for good measure, we'll go on with a little more rub, a little garnish action, mostly just for the tops of these. But you know, if you hit the sides and get the bacon as well, that's fine with me. And just like that, our pig shots are done. So let's get them on the pit. As you can see, I got this pit rocking right around 300 degrees. Might even go a little hotter, make sure that bacon gets nice and crispy. But on we go. And at this point, the sausage is fully cured and smoked. The bacon is fully cured and smoked. The cream cheese is also smoked. So really all we need to do is make sure that bacon gets nice and crispy and everything is heated through and get a little more smoke on these. So we'll check back in in probably 30 minutes. All right, it's been about 35, 40 minutes and these guys are looking real nice. I rotated them a couple times, but that bacon is starting to get nice and crispy. Had a couple of blowouts on this side. I think I overfilled them a little bit, but that's all right. And yeah, these are looking really close to being done. But one last thing I'm gonna do to finish these off is hit them with a little bit of some Texas Pete hot sauce with a little squirt bottle sticking out. Just to add a little extra flavor, a little extra color, a little more heat, and a little bit of acidity. Oh yeah, those are looking real nice. Let that cook on, tack up for a minute, and we'll pull them off. Just like that, these things are looking beautiful. Nice and crispy bacon, looking real good. Love the golden brown color on that cream cheese. So now all we need to do is make sure we pull all these out. And there we go, little pig shot. Nice bite-sized little bite of just pure indulgence. Smelling very nice. Bacon held up well. Ooh. Really got some nice smoke on there. Looking very good. Happy with these. I like that little dollop on top. Very nice. But these are still really hot, so I'm gonna let these cool down for a minute. Then we'll stack them up all pretty and dive on in. Oh, that bacon is so good. Why does everything look better when it's all in a nice pile like this on a beautiful October day? Oh, really excited about how these are looking, smelling, and now it's time to find out how they taste. I know it's the middle of October right now, but it's still 90 degrees out here and I am not liking it. Whew, anywho, let's dive into one of these beauties. Oh, they're so cute. I hope they're not still too hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's an amazing bite. You know, I keep getting proved wrong and surprised by these kind of gimmicky foods that you see on the internet. You know, I've been seeing pig shots for a long time, and like I said earlier, they seem kind of gimmicky, they seem a little over the top, but that is really good. It's got some heat, it's got some saltiness to it, it's got that creaminess from the cream cheese. Bacon is nice and crispy. I mean, just look at that smoky, beautiful little bite. And honestly, with all the jalapeno in there, I thought it might be a little on the spicy side, but that is hitting right for me. I mean, just look at that cheesy, cheddary cream cheese interior. That is really good. Mm. That's the winner. Sausage is nice and juicy still. Got a little caramelization on the bottom side of it too. Really does have some fantastic texture to it. A little jalapeno poking out, nice and cheesy. That kind of grilled underside. Definitely making these again. Ah. Mm. Turns out I'm taking a homemade jalapeno cheddar sausage, wrapping it in homemade bacon, stuffing it with cream cheese and cheddar cheese and a pickled jalapeno. Turns out really good. Don't know why I was a doubter, but that is truly a perfect tailgate football food. And it makes me think about how I could do it differently. Right off the bat, a little buffalo chicken dip in the top with a chicken sauce. Whew, that'd be good. Well, looks like you went double bacon on this one. Mm, the homemade bacon really does help. Now, unfortunately, Carl's out of town and all my other friends are working, so I guess I'm gonna have to just polish these all off by myself. But first, I think it's time for the official taste test. Yeah. All right, y'all, that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic smoky pig shots. I highly recommend giving this one a try. I'm sure you have most of the ingredients on hand already, and especially if you don't make your own sausage from scratch. This one comes together real quick and is sure to be a pleaser at any game day. And if you're like me and are skeptical about these internet recipes and have any more you want me to try, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.